Why do some women keep getting UTIs even after treatment? A new study looked at postmenopausal women with recurrent antibiotic resistant UTIs who underwent a procedure called electrofulguration. Electrofulguration is where areas of chronically inflamed bladder tissue are cauterized in hopes of removing bacteria hiding there. Before the procedure, researchers took bladder wall biopsies from 34 women and used a technique called 16S rRNA FISH, which allows them to see bacterial DNA within the tissue. They checked for both total bacteria and Escherica. They found that women with a higher total bladder wall bacterial presence had over three times the risk of relapse within six months. But Escherica on its own wasn't a significant predictor, even though it was very common. This suggests that the problem isn't just E. coli, but a more complex reservoir of embedded bacteria living inside bladder tissue. These reservoirs may act as a host for infection, which could explain why antibiotics and sometimes even surgical cauterization don't fully prevent recurrence. Limitations of this study include that it was a small study with just 34 women. It also focused on only postmenopausal women, so we don't know if this applies to younger patients. And while the link is strong, this kind of study only shows association, not proof of course. This research adds weight to the idea that recurrent UTIs aren't always new infections, they might be relapses from bacteria living deep in the bladder wall. As always, if you like this no-nonsense breakdown of papers, follow us for all things UTI and pelvic health.